Hey peeps, what's up? Manchi here, back with another video. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can register your drone with the FAA for recreational purposes. So you need to go to this website, which is https colon slash slash FAA drone zone hyphen access dot FAA dot gov. Once you go on this page, if you have already created an account with the faa then you can log in over here if you haven't then you select create account and for the faa drone zone system use notice we are going to say i agree now on this create account page you need to enter your details your first name last name email address and your password and then we're going to select create account once i do that they're going to tell me that hey we just sent you a verification email on the email address you entered on the previous screen so you need to go to your inbox click on that email inside that you have a link click on that link and verify your account so here it is i do have the email from faa drone zone in my inbox i'm going to say verify account and once i do that here it is you have successfully verified your account and we can select back to login now herein you need to log in with the email address and the password which you just created so here it is we have successfully logged in with the account which we just created and we do not have any services we're going to select add a service and herein you need to select the drone owners and pilot service once you do that it will be highlighted and you can say add a service next up we're going to say launch drone owners and pilots dashboard now this is going to take us to another page and you have two different account types so you have part 107 and you have the recreational flyer account and as i mentioned at the beginning of the video we're going to do the recreational flyer account so we're going to do setup recreational flyer account and herein you need to enter your address which is your physical address and if your physical address is same as the mailing address you can check this option of mailing address is same as my physical address now once you've entered in all the relevant details we're going to say proceed to checkout next up you're going to land on a page like this which is safety guidance make sure you go through all these bullet points and then we're going to say i have read and understand the safety guidance and select next on the next screen you will notice that your inventory is empty because you do not have any drones registered however on the top right we have the option of add device so that is what we are going to select so here and on this pop-up screen the first question is does your drone broadcast faa remote id you have two options yes or no how do you know which one to select well it's pretty easy you go to this link which is on the bottom right click on it and say open link in new tab and then we're going to go to this new tab so you will land on this page which is uas declaration of compliance and herein you have this option of search as soon as you move your cursor or the mouse over the search the cursor is going to change and herein we can type in dji it is going to filter it out because dji is the drone which i have so i have the mini 3 pro and this here is the model and the status so my mini 3 pro is not on this page we can go to the second page it is not over here as well we can go to the third page which is the last one and on the bottom i have the mini 3 pro which means that the remote id option which we have over here we need to select yes device type will be standard remote id because you have not attached any explicit or external remote id broadcast module so we're going to say standard remote id give it a nickname the manufacturer will be dji the model will be mini 3 pro now you have to enter your remote id serial number where do you get this well this is the serial number of your drone so in my case i have the dji rc controller i have turned it on the drone is also turned on both of them are paired and connected then on the next screen which i get i have the three dots on the top right i select that option then i go into the about section and here and if i scroll down i have a bunch of different serial numbers the one which i am looking for is the aircraft serial number that is what you need to enter over here in the remote id serial number field now once you've entered the remote id serial number we're going to say add the device once you do that the device has been added to our inventory we can select next over here and now we are on the payment information screen and here and of course you need to enter your 
payment information which is your card number your cvc your expiration date and of course if the billing address that is the address on the card is same as your mailing address you can check this option of use mailing address and then you're going to select next once you do that you will land on the review and payment page there in you confirm one more time and then the registration fees at the time of recording this video is five dollars that is what is going to be charged to my card and i will get the confirmation in my email address as well and there it is peeps that is how you register your drone with the faa for recreational purposes